Tailwind CSS framework is widely used nowadays to style websites and web apps. Let's go through the whole installation process, how we can integrate Tailwind CSS in Laravel project. I'm gonna open up official documentation on that page which shows how to integrate Tailwind CSS into Laravel project. The first step we can skip because we already have a project. Let's get straight to the second one. So in here we have to install three npm dependencies Tailwind CSS, Post CSS and Auto Prefixer and then run npx Tailwind CSS in order to create Tailwind configuration file. I'm gonna copy over these two commands, go back to my terminal and execute them. Right after installation is complete, let's get back to the browser and now we have to modify Tailwind configuration file in order to tail Tailwind we are we're gonna use Tailwind CSS classes. Usually we're gonna use them in our Blade templates as well as JavaScript files. And in case we're using framework view, we also have to include files with that view extension. So let's copy over this option and replace this option in our configuration file, like so. And then as documentation says, we have to include the following three Tailwind directive in our CSS. So I'm gonna open up app.css, which is my CSS entry point. And at the very top, let's paste those three directives. This app.css is eventually going to be included in our build because we are importing it from within our JavaScript entry point right here. And with that, everything is ready. We just have to start our Vite development server and we can use Tailwind CSS classes in our templates. Let's try it out. Firstly, I'm gonna execute npm run dev and let's try using a couple of Tailwind CSS classes. For example, for the body element, we can use bg class to specify background color. I'm gonna use custom one and then I'm going to apply these four rules by using Tailwind CSS classes. So let's get back to index.blade.php and use necessary classes. So I'm gonna make this body element a flex container with the main vertical axis where elements will be centered vertically as well as horizontally. And sure enough, in the browser we're going to see expected result. And as you can see, proper Tailwind CSS classes have been generated. So what actually happened behind the scenes is those three directives we have added earlier to our app.css. They have been expanded into the following styles. Here we have mainly styles to reset default browser styles, but if we we'll scroll down to the very bottom, we're gonna see in here our classes that we have used inside our main blade view. And the same result we're going to see after we're gonna build the project for production. Let's switch over to the browser and open up generated CSS file. As we can see, at the very bottom we have the same generated Tailwind CSS classes.